Okay. Hi guys. My name is Ebony Chain and I, my website is shinefrominside.com and that's my website for myself and for my team. And, um, from my team is Emma, Emma Vanderland, Emma Watson Vanderland, my friend from uni. So we're here today to bring you a little video about sleep. Um, again, there's lots more information out there. We will both be doing other videos on this topic, but today we really want to focus on a couple of oils that we both love. In fact, we probably do three oils each, I think, on this one. Um, and we're going to do just how we use them and why we love them and what the properties actually help us with. So I hope this is really helpful so you have like a go-to sort my sleep out video, <laughs> okay? <laughs> So I guess, uh, Emma, would you like to start with one of your oils? Yeah, so I like to use um, <clears throat> lavender. Just bear with me a minute while I take it out of its little package. Hang on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, there it is. Got it. So I like to use lavender for sleep. So this one here is in a roller ball. Um, so it's already pre-diluted with the fractionated coconut oil. Um, and you can also use it on diluted and that just comes in the normal 15 mil bottle or five mil bottle um lavender is amazing for sleep i mean a lot of people already know about lavender you know lavender is probably one of the most common essential oils that most people have heard of um but the most amazing thing about doTERRA's lavender oil is that it literally when you open that bottle it literally smells like a lavender field like it's so it's yum. <laughs> um, so this one I use for sleep. Um, again, you can diffuse it. You can um, use it topically. So on the bottom of your feet, uh, pressure points, back of your spine. I like to put it on the children's spine before they go to sleep. Um, that's a good way to apply it. Um, also, lavender has got many more amazing properties. So like for burns, for skin um for insect bites so it's a really versatile oil this is my favorite for sleeping such a good one thanks emma and yeah that oil comes in the 15 mil size and obviously the touch one which is pre-diluted that emma's showing you which is really nice just to have in your handbag like i'm saying or for kids and things like that because it's pre-diluted but yeah, lavender is fabulous. Um, okay, so I'm going to start talking about Serenity, which is actually a blend that is heavily, you know, containing uh, lavender. Lavender is one of the top oils in the restful blend that is called Serenity. Um, so yeah, it's actually called um, Lavender Peace in Australia market. Um, but the rest of the world, I believe that we call it uh, Serenity. So yeah, this is a really wonderful blend. It has a lot of different oils in there. There's um, lavender, cedar wood, ho wood, ylang ylang, marjoram, Roman chamomile, and vetiver. So a couple of these oils Emma and I will talk about in this video. And then we've also got another video um, for like anxiety and emotions and things like that, our favorite oils from that. So they're very, very similar oils. So you can sort of go between them. They're obviously oils that we're not even mentioning that are great for this as well. But um, yeah, so just now I'll just talk about Serenity. And Serenity comes in this. There has been a limited edition bottle in a roller ball, but otherwise you would just make up your own roller ball if you wanted to, um, or just use it from the bottle. And then also it comes in these capsules, which I absolutely adore as well. You don't obviously get the aromatherapy benefit from using these, but they have done a study. They did a blind uh, study where they made some like fake ones that also smell of lavender a little bit but like synthetic lavender <laughs> and then they used these and the difference was unbelievable so yeah they just i find more like the oils help you fall asleep but i feel like the internal use of serenity really helps you have the most rested sleep possible so you wake up feeling like you've just had the most incredible night's sleep ever um and you don't sort of you're not so restless in your sleep and things like that so that's how i kind of use them both but i, I do use them both 
Um, not every day at the moment, but when I first started using the oils I had, I was telling him before this call, you know, I used to be a, such an insomniac. I didn't sleep at all. I would just go off two hours. Sometimes I would go, I think the worst I did was like four days straight with no sleep. And I was just working the whole time in a project and ended up in hospital. So you can see why I now use the oils <laughs> and you can see why I'm such a fan and advocate of them because I really really know the power um, and I never have problems sleeping these days I absolutely love going to my bed and <laughs> love falling asleep so um serenity oil um has all those beautiful oils in it so I'm just going to read out from the book um some of the properties and some of the reasons why you might want to pick this oil up and use it ASAP so it's called the oil of tranquility the restful blend has a powerful effect on the mind and heart it is a uniquely calming blend that invites individuals to relinquish feelings of stress, anxiousness, and being overwhelmed. Restful blend can support those who struggle with an overactive mind and inability to unwind. From feelings of responsibility to feelings of worry, restful blend assists in quieting the mind, releasing agitation, and inviting calm. When individuals over-identify with responsibilities or fears, they create emotional states that do not support proper rest, relaxation, and rejuvenation. Driven by constant pressures and perceived burdens, individuals struggle to keep up with the demands of their lives. This blend powerfully addresses the underlying states that are often the cause of restfulness, stress, and imbalance. Restful Blend encourages individuals to first reconnect with themselves and discover the peace that lies within, and then to connect with the humanity in others. It invites individuals to acknowledge when they feel out of balance and allow time and space for true renewal. It also gently reminds that others are often caught in similar cycles of imbalance and encourages compassion and acceptance of them. Restful blend brings a sense of tranquility that allows space for personal reflection, peace, and healing. So that's basically what it means in a nutshell to use serenity. And I absolutely adore this oil. It's one of the one of the first ones that I really fell in love with. Um, but yes, yeah, certainly not the last. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's my little thing on serenity. Emma, would you like to pass back to you and you can talk about your next oil? Yep, so my next oil is cedar wood. So this is one of the wood oils. Um, <clears throat> and again, it's a really good oil for sort of grounding, um, calming. Um, and this is a nice one to combine with lavender. Um, so again, if you want to pop two drops in the diffuser with two drops of lavender, that's a really nice one to combine with. Um, and what I try and do is before I go to sleep, I normally do a meditation and then I diffuse the oils or I use them topically. And then this really helps get into a more meditative state um, and also helps you fall asleep and in, go into a much deeper sleep. Um, and again, uh, I like to use those meditation techniques in the morning. Um, so it's uh, that meditating before and after sleep using the oils is such a powerful way of getting into a really deep sleep um so that's again another one that i would like to use i like using cedar wood beautiful thank you emma do you want to read from the book on that one or are you going to yep i'll read a little bit yeah. in the book so cedar wood brings people together to experience the strength and value of community those in need of cedar wood struggle to form bonds within social groups. So this often be due, is due to an over de, overdeveloped sense of individuality. Rather than allowing themselves to be supported by family, friends, or a community, they live by excessive self-reliance. So on the other hand, the individual's difficulty forming social roots may also stem from feeling disconnected, and separate from the human family. Cedarwood inspires the feeling of belonging and assists the heart in opening to receive the love and support of other people. It invites the strong-willed individual to couple the strength of individuality with the supportive power of community. So positive properties with cedarwood is that it keeps you emotionally connected, a sense of belonging, supported, social bonds, social um 
and community orientated. So it's, you know, a really beautiful oil for feeling rooted. And that's why I like to use it for sleep because it's really grounding. Mm. That's so interesting. I was just reading an article about that today as well, about how people, you know, a lot of people who have just had to be really strong in their life, they could be very sociable. And, and but what you were saying there, it's not really about like people not being able to socialize, right? It's about like people not being able to like connect, which basically means like ask for help or reach out to others for support, which is, you know, we, we can all be, well, not all of us can be sociable, but most of us feel okay being sociable with certain people, but not many of us are actually very good at asking for help. And, and you know, it's very much that mentality of, I can do it myself, I can do it myself, I can handle this, I can handle this, I got this. And it's, sometimes it's good to have that, that community and, yeah, connection with others. Absolutely. Thanks, Emma. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Okay, shall I move on to Roman chamomile is another one. Now, this is not one of the cheapest oils. So it's not one I would recommend to you if you're starting on a budget. Um, but it's a really, really powerful, beautiful oil. Again, it, you know, the cost is all about the sourcing. So it's all about um, how much plant matter it takes. And when you're dealing with something like rose petals or chamomile flowers, petals, it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of plant material to fill these little bottles. So um, it's one that I would use um, maybe like one or two drops of, but I might be more more uh, generous with my serenity or my lavender, or cedar wood or something like that um, because they're much more affordable. So I'll just splash those on everywhere. Um, chamomile, I use it a little bit more sparingly. So I tend to just put like one or two drops and I tend to use a little bit more like on my chest, like here so I can really enjoy the aroma. Um, and obviously in the diffuser, it's a great way too, because you're getting the whole house for up to 10 hours smelling of these beautiful oils. So Roman chamomile um, is the oil of spiritual purpose. And again, we're not talking about religion here. We're talking about a connection to something bigger than ourselves. So Roman chamomile supports individuals in discovering and living their true life's purpose. Regardless of what someone does for a living, they can find purpose and meaning in life. Purpose isn't defined simply by outward actions of individuals. It is housed within their heart and soul and radiates out to the world. As individuals live from the center of their beings, they find power and purpose that is undescribable. They also feel calmer and more at peace. Roman chamomile assists a person in shedding the meaningless activities that consume their lives. So they can focus on a more fulfilling work, even the work of their own souls. This oil assists in feeling connected to and supported by divine helpers and guides and calms insecurities about following one's spiritual path. In, when in doubt, Roman chamomile softens the personality, easing the overactive ego mind. And if you want to dive into that, Eckhart Tolle is your man. Um, he does some amazing teachings about the ego and the mind. Um, it restores one's confidence in doing what they came to this earth to do. So purpose is such an important thing. Like when you're working with so many different people that are going through different things, it often comes down to life purpose and, and why people feel depressed is often to do with them not having that sense of purpose. And um, it comes into addictions as well. If you're working with people with addictions, it often comes down to not having that sense of purpose or losing their sense of purpose. So it's, it's not to be, um, not to be uh, um, it's to be taken seriously <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say um, so it restores one's confidence in doing what they came to this earth to do people fearfully believe that if they do what they love they will end up destitute whereas my mom taught me if you do what you love you never have to work a day in your life <laughs> so um, it's a it's funny what the mind and the beliefs can actually do to us um, so yeah, work doesn't have to just be work. You can be actually fulfilling your life purpose through your work if, that, if that's what you're called to do. Uh, Roman chamomile reminds them to do what they love to experience true success. So I couldn't agree more with that. And the negative emotions associated that you would want to use this for would be purposeless, purposeless, um, discouraged, drudgery, frustrated, and unsettled. And the positive properties are purposeful, yeah guided, peaceful, fulfilled, relaxed, and spiritually connected. 
And the companion oils that this book talks about are blue tanzine, which is a beautiful oil, frankincense, which we talk about all the time because it's amazing, and the anti-aging blend, which is called Immortal or more recently Salubel, they've changed the name to. And that's a beautiful, expensive blend for anti-aging. So it's used a lot around the eyes and the mouth and things like that. But it's also just an oil full of um, amazing essential oils like frankincense, sandalwood. Um, there's a whole bunch of just amazing, amazing oils in there. So yeah, that would be an obvious one to pair with that as well. Okay, so I think that's enough for Roman chamomile. Uh, Emma, would you like to take over for your last oil? Yep, so I'm going to end with um, <clears throat> the juniper berry. Um, and I think you've got a bottle of the juniper berry, Ebony. I do, somewhere. <laughs> No problem if you've not. <clears throat> I'll just carry on. <clears throat> I had it a second ago. <laughs> yeah. Juniper there we go. berry. Juniper berry. Oh, no. So juniper berry is a, an oil that I got introduced to because um, I was having problems with my daughter sleeping. Um, she was having a lot of night terrors um, and really bad night terrors um, to the point where she would wake up well, she, she wouldn't wake up, but she'd be walking around with her eyes open, still asleep. Um, it was quite a, a disturbing time. So um, I was really looking for, uh, for things to help with, the, to support this and to help her with her sleep. So I was using um, the Fetiva, which Ebony has already uh, talked about, and lavender. And then it was advised to me to use juniper berry. Um, and it's the, that, that those three uh, as a blend for that specific um, problem that I was having with uh, Edie was so powerful. Like it really helped. It really helped her sleep um, and just fall and fall into a much deeper sleep um, and help support those night terrors. Um, so juniper berry assists those who fear the dark or unknown aspects of themselves. It helps individuals to understand that those things they fear are intended to be their teachers. So instead of hiding from what they do not understand, Juniper Berry encourages individuals to learn the lesson and face their fear. So these fears often live within the unexplored areas of ourselves. Juniper Berry acts as a catalyst by helping individuals access and address those fears and issues which have been long avoided. Um, dreams contain nightmare communications. Even nightmares can reveal unresolved fears and issues. So this is really, um, this is really a point. You know, this is so resonating right now because obviously, uh, sleep, um, you know, nightmares and sleep problems often come from an overactive mind. So again, these these oils are great for just calming the mind. Uh, juniper berry offers courage and energetic protection in the nightmare. It encourages an honest assessment of the information being communicated from within. As individuals reconcile with their fears and other hidden aspects of themselves, they experience greater wholeness. Juniper berry helps restore the balance between light and dark, conscious and subconsciousness, day and night. It acts as a guide on the path towards wholeness. Juniper Berry teaches that there is truly nothing to fear when one acknowledges and accepts all aspects of the self. So the, the negative emotions <clears throat> um, that may come up are irrational fears, re recurrent nightmares and disrupted sleep and avoiding. And the positive properties um, evoke feeling protected, peaceful dreaming and courageous self-awareness. So yeah again it's a re really beautiful uh, oil for sleep certainly is i'm glad we ed feels better with that one <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. shame. i remember living through your stress with you a little bit on that one it's a, yeah. not, not a pleasant time for you um okay so we'll move on to the next oil um so my last oil is going to be hawaiian sandalwood 
So again, Emma's talked about cedarwood. I don't know if that's focusing, but you can kind of get the idea. Um, Emma has already talked about cedarwood. So it's in that same family. You know, we've talked about balance. We've talked about vetiver in another video. We talk about frankincense and pretty much everything we do because it's always relevant. Um, even copaiba is another tree oil. So a lot of these oils, you know, they, they are grounding, they're calming because they are trees. And like Emma's first description, which I think was about the cedarwood, it was really talking about like the roots of the trees and the, you know, the grounding, the, the balance and everything that you can get from um, wood oils. So that's going to be the same for a lot of these. Um, Hawaiian sandalwood is a lot more expensive than our cedarwood because of the sourcing again. So your cedarwood is actually very, very reasonably priced and will last you a long time. It's in a 15 mil bottle, 250 drops. This one is only 80 drops. So it's a much more expensive oil and a much smaller bottle. Um, but it is exceptionally special and you will see sandalwood belongs in many, many perfumes or aftershaves or everything like that. It's such a wonderful, wonderful scent. I much prefer it to cedarwood, to be honest. I use cedarwood a lot because of the price. Um, but the, the sandalwood I love to have for those special occasions. It really is a beautiful, beautiful oil. Um, so I'll read again from the book and give you some of the background on this oil. So sandalwood is the oil of sacred devotion. So again, it goes on, sandalwood assists with all kinds of prayer, meditation, and spiritual worship. Now, don't let it put you off if you're not religious, okay? I'm not a religious person myself, but it's exceptionally beneficial for anything grounding, like meditation as well, or yoga or anything like that. It teaches reverence and respect for deity. This oil has been used since ancient times for its powerful ability to calm the mind, still the heart, and prepare the spirit to commune with God. So this is the religious aspect to it because it is, you know, being used by religious communities for hundreds of years. Um, sandalwood teaches of spiritual devotion and spiritual sacrifice. It invites individuals to place all material attachments. This is where I think find it relevant for absolutely everybody. It invites individuals to place all material attachments on the altar of sacrifice so that they may truly progress spiritually. So it's that letting go of your superficial needs and really looking inward to what really fulfills you. That's really what this is talking about. This oil asks individuals to assess where their hearts are and challenges them to reorder their priorities, to be in alignment with the divine will. So with your, what you're meant to be doing, what you care about, what your core cares about, what your heart cares about. Um, sandalwood assists in quieting the mind so that individuals may hear the subtle voice of the spirit. It raises them into higher levels of consciousness. Sandalwood assists one in reaching beyond their current confines and belief systems. For those who are ready to leave behind attachment to fame, I knew that was going to happen. My dog's about to go crazy. He's barking at the door. Um, for those who are ready to leave behind attachment to fame, wealth, the need for acceptance, Sandalwood teaches true humility, devotion, and love for the divine. So it is, it's a very spiritual, a very deep um, oil. And um, whether you're using it just for the smell alone, that's fine too. But this is really, if you want to go deep inside yourself and really get connected with the earth, with mother nature, with, um, with everything around you, this is such an amazingly powerful oil. So the negative emo emotions that this could help with would be disconnectedness, um, spirit your spiritual self, um, emptiness, overthinking, materialistic, um, which, you know, I do think sometimes when crises happen, we start to realize what really matters. You know, it doesn't really matter about the designer pair of boots you were going to wear at the weekend. You know, that, that doesn't actually bring us, it brings us very superficial joy and it, it goes very, very quickly as well. And um, this is really, really going a lot deeper than that. The positive properties are humble, being humble, um, spiritual devotion, spiritual clarity, stillness again, to be able to surrender, surrender to what's happening, surrender to good or bad, um, surrender um, to circumstances or to beliefs or to other people's actions, or it could, it could mean a lot of different things there, and connected to your higher consciousness. The companion oils that are mentioned in the book are oregano, spikenard, not my favorite oil, but people love it, 
um, anti-aging gland, which is the immortal or salubel, and the reassuring gland. The reassuring gland is peace, the peace gland from the emotional aromatherapy kit. So yeah, that is sandalwood in a, in a nutshell. Really, really beautiful oil. Okay, and that's us then, Emma. Do you have okay. anything else you want to say? No, I think we've covered everything really yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay, great. I mean, Thank I did you. have another video planned for sleep as well, which I will talk about other things that are not oil related. So obviously there are other things like, you know, both of us would tell you to not be using your phone all the way up until you want to go to sleep at one o'clock in the morning and expect mm. to put a drop of oil on and fall asleep. You know, you really want to help your body wind down. And that can be with a bunch of other practices, which we will go into in other videos. Um, but yeah, it could be taking a bath, it could be reading, it could be a little self-care routine, it could be writing in your gratitude journal, it could be, you know, many, many different things. Um, but the oils will force you to a certain extent, but if you allow that to by your other practices, it's going to have like the best effect ever. And all of these oils that we're talking about in this video and also the anxiety emotions video can be used together, can be combined in different ways. There are a bunch of other oils that you can mix in there with any of these as well. And yeah, most of them can be used diffuser, topically. So on your skin, chest, neck, spine, feet, ankles. Um, yeah, or inhaled in your thing. And sometimes I even make like linen sprays and spray, spray down the, um, the linen. I do have one for, funny story actually about that before we close up. Is that, you know, before I moved to Amsterdam, I had a three bedroom flat in Edinburgh. So I would rent a couple of the rooms out on Airbnb. I did that for a few years and it was very, it was actually very successful. It went really well. So I couldn't stop doing it. I was only meant to be doing it for a short time. So um, I used to make linen sprays obviously for the rooms and I would put little things around the place and stuff. And when people would first arrive, like I had two sets of guests one in particular which I'll mention where these guys drove up they must have driven about eight or nine hours right to get to Edinburgh for an event and they were leaving early the next morning <laughs> and they arrived in Edinburgh and they went oh yeah we're just going to go in and get changed and we're going straight out and we're really excited and they were chatting with they're like do you want to come with us and I was like no 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 <laughs> you know it's fine you guys go and enjoy yourself welcome to Edinburgh you have a good time probably won't see you, you know, maybe see you tomorrow before you guys leave, that's fine. So they come in, they go in their room and I hear them doing stuff. All of a sudden it all goes really quiet. And I was like, oh, didn't know whether they were in or I just kind of assumed they'd gone out, to be honest. It wasn't until the next day they came to me and were like, Ebony, that essential oil. We just sat down on the bed and fell asleep and that was it. We slept all the way through our event. There's <laughs> 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 another guest who slept in slept so well that she forgot to leave as well in the morning she forgot that was the day she was supposed to leave so I actually stopped spraying the beds down with serenity in the sleep aisles because they're so powerful uh, um yeah it can have a really big effect on people so yeah don't underestimate it but it's not it's not going to knock you out like sleep medication or something like that it's it's natural so it's completely um organic and natural <laughs> anyway Emma do you have anything else to say or should we say goodbye no that's everything I think we've covered everything okay All right. bye bye sleep well, sleep well yeah <laughs> sleep well bye